Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create and customize a newspaper design on Canva. If you're not new to Canva, if you're familiar with how Canva works, you know that Canva provide a lots of templates that you can choose. For example, they have templates for logos, for t-shirt, for presentation, etc. If you also want to find some more templates, you can just go ahead and click on the templates menu on the left side of your screen and then you will find a lot more of templates that you can use. You can also find some more template design if you click on create a design button on top of your screen over here and then you can see the drop down menu are going to show you some more template suggestions such as for a document, resume, Instagram story, flyer or you can just create your own custom size template if you like. Now if you would like to make a newspaper with Canva, what you're going to do is that you're going to go ahead and type on newspaper on the search bar over here and then click enter and now you will find a tons of newspaper templates that you can customize and you can use. As you can see, the provided templates of newspapers comes with a variety of options. They have black and white newspaper, they also have colored newspaper. So you can choose whatever newspaper template that you would like to use. Just make sure that you see the pro symbol. The pro symbol comes in crown form. If you notice on some of this design, on the bottom right of some of these designs, there is a pro symbol. There is a crown symbol that shows that if you want to use that template, you will have to use the pro account. But today I'm using a free account, so I'm going to choose on the template that doesn't have the crown symbol. And this one ended up catches my eyes. I kind of like how the design looks like. And if you like certain type of design, but you don't quite want to use that one yet, you still want to look at some preference, you can go ahead and click on the design that you want to create and then scroll down and you will see that there are other templates that look similar like the one that you've chosen before. I am good with this particular template right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on customize this template. And here is the newspaper template that we're going to work with. To zoom in on your template, you can just go ahead and create a zoom in motion on your trackpad or create a zoom out motion on your trackpad to zoom out on your design. Or you can also use this bar down here, slide it to the left to make your design zoom out or slide it to the right if you want to zoom in on your design. So these newspaper template are originally made for a birthday party invitation. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can change this template into how newspaper are supposed to be. So if you would like your newspaper to have more than one page, you can go ahead and click on add page under the page that I already created for you. And then you can just go ahead and highlight every single element that are available on the templates. Click Ctrl C to copy it and then click Ctrl V to paste it into the new page. You can do that if you want your second page to look exactly like the first page. Or another thing you can do to duplicate your page is simply by clicking on this duplicate icon on top of your page. And what it does is that it's going to duplicate the exact same things like the one in the duplicated page. Alright, now I'm going to start by editing some of the wording that already in the templates. As you can see, this template comes with some font, wordings, element, as well as pictures. The first thing I'm going to change is these birthday editions wording right here. I'm going to change it to the date that I made this video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the text box, highlight all of the text that are already there. Then I'm just going to change it to January 2024. Of course, if you don't like the font that are provided by this template, you can go ahead and click on this font bar over here and then you can just scroll around and see if you would like to change the font to another font. 
Once again, pay attention to the crown symbol because it means that that particular font can only be used if you are using the pro or paid account. If you're using a free account, please choose the font that don't have a crown symbol beside it. You can also change the size of your font by clicking on plus or minus sign over here, or you can also just type out the size of font that you'd like. But here I'm just going to go ahead and use the original font that this template came with. I'm going to leave this New York wording as it is, but I'm going to show you that you can also change the alignment of your wording by clicking on this symbol right here. And if you click it multiple times, you can see that the alignment will change. So you can keep on clicking it until you find the alignment that you would want to use. And here I'm just changing the title of my newspaper as well as the subtitle. And as you can see, I'm choosing fun fact about the sea as my topic today. And this picture doesn't really describe what I want to write inside of my newspaper. So I'm just going to go ahead and search some pictures from Canva. And to do that, I can just go ahead and click on element and type out C on my search bar. Once I found the pictures that I'd like to put, I can just go ahead and click on that pictures. And then I'm going to resize it by clicking on the tiny dots on the edge of my pictures. I can drag it inward if I want my pictures to be smaller or I can also drag it outward if I want my pictures to be bigger. I ended up making my pictures smaller and then I'm going to put it in the corner because I would like to add some wording besides and under the pictures. And to add the wording, you can go ahead and click on the text menu and you can either Click on one of the add a heading wording to add a new text box, but I don't want my new text box to have different font from the rest of my newspaper. So what I did is that I am copying the existing text box below this picture and I'm pasting it beside the picture so that my text box will have the exact same font just like the rest of the newspaper. Now to fill in the fun fact about the sea, I'm going to ask the help of ChatGPT. So over here, I'm just going to go ahead and type out fun fact about the sea in paragraph. And then I'm going to copy some of the paragraph into my text box over here. You also have the options to edit the letter spacing as well as the line spacing by clicking on the symbol over here and then you can slide around the bars on the letter spacing as well as the line spacing to change the spacing to according how you want it to be. And then I decided to copy the existing text box and paste it below and then I just add the remaining paragraph from ChatGPT into my newspaper column over here. Now these column down here are supposed to be for the information of the birthday party because this newspaper was originally a birthday party invitation. So I'm going to go ahead and change it into a sea liter cleaning activity. So I'm going to go ahead and change the time into 9 a.m. And then let's change the date into 27 of January. Again, I'm going to try to find a pictures that will divine this newspaper column that I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead and click on elements. Again, I'm going to search for another picture. So I'm going to type out beach liter and then I'm just going to choose from the provided picture. Most of the pictures that match the keywords that I put inside of the search bar are pro pictures meaning again that I can only use them if I am using a paid account. And I'm going to show you what happened if you're using a pro element or pro pictures into free account. As you can see, once I've inserted the pictures into my frame, I'm seeing a Canva watermark and that watermark will not be gone unless I upgrade my account to paid one before I download this particular design. Again, for the event description, I'm going to ask the help of ChatGPT and then I'm just going to insert it into the already made text box. 
And for the finishing touch, I decided to add a flower element into my newspaper. Again, I'm going to go ahead into the element sections and then type out flowers. And then I'm just choosing on the flower graphic that I can input into my design. And then I'm just making some final adjustment to make sure that my newspaper is looking all good and tidy. And that is how you can create a newspaper design with Canva. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.